Hello once again and welcome to the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we have a name for this crusader, which is appropriate for Steve the Optimist. Of course, how could I forget? Uh, it's too long. Mr. Steve then. Sorry Mr. Steve, but your Optimist moniker is beyond the character limit imposed upon us by arbitrary forces. Much like how we live the rest of our lives. Uh, let's just embark on something. Let's try and do maybe... Ooh, we could do a boss. Let's get rid of these. We don't necessarily know we're using them yet. We could do a boss in the wield. This is level 1, so it's not impossible, but I think we should probably take... We should probably think about upgrading some people, both in terms of armor and uh, weaponry. And we have some new people to take with us, so we should probably figure out how to use them. Now, this is going to be a difficult character to work with, because, um, well, the solo you can do in any position, actually, so that's kind of nice. But the finale, it's basically you're going to have to finish off the round with finale, with solo and then finale, or spend some time moving, but we can manage that. I think we can work with this for now and see how far we get. Very rare seal as well. Oh, maybe we don't want to do the wise and hag with very low level people. So that's going to be a cool one to do. I'm hoping that the rewards remain the same uh, between reloads of the game. Because that's... You, you can and you will, Penelope Puddles, if that's your real name. What else have we got? Abomination Virtue Chance. Uh, it's not that great. Bounty Hunter Speed. We haven't got a Bounty Hunter. Uh, is Dutch about? No. Bounty Hunter's got the other type of helmet on. Yeah, no Bounty Hunters here. Uh, or the Cove is not a level 1 medium run, which will get us a stun skill and stun resist with a penalty to dodge. That could be a pretty good thing to give to either D or uh, Holmesy. Also, um, Houndmasters do have a stun, but we haven't got them unlocked. So let's bring Snowlin along on a medium mission. We might as well bring Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve has some of the... Yeah, they're okay. It's a heal, it's a torch, it's a stress heal. But mostly we use smite and stunning blow anyway. Zealous Accusation is obviously usually a decent damage spreader around it. But... Um, maybe Dutch? No. We could bring Viz again, but he's very stressed out. Oh, we should put some people into a stress recovery, actually. Let's do that first. Uh, Holmes, you get the cheapest thing available because that's how important you are to me. Not sanitarium, that's not what we want. We want a tavern. Where are we going to put Viz? Viz, you can drink uh, for once. Sanitarium is actually an option. I don't. There's nobody with a disease, and the diseases are often the worst uh, problem, but it doesn't mean people don't have problems. Like, kleptomaniac has turned out to be a pretty big deal. We might get rid of that because. Uh, Ed is one of the people we tend to bring out on on high-ranking missions, so let's, uh, let's, let's do that. How much is that going to cost? 1500 I think we can afford that. I'd like to improve this. Um, oh, that wasn't very smart. That actually reduces the treatment cost. Should have done that first. In fact, we should have done it a lot. I'll do it now. We're going to do it again in future, and we'll just uh, accept. Dungeon, but rather inside the mind. I do like the uh, the narration you get between things whenever you do something. It's, it's really cool. It's a nice touch to a game. Uh, we'll just accept the fact that we fucked up there slightly and move on and put it behind us. Now, second position, maybe Rakuda? Tends to be okay in the second position. Yeah, because the point blank shot is when you've been shuffled forwards. I think it moves you back. Yeah, it does. Uh is actually okay again, but uh, there's a third position. We could take the two Crusaders, probably not brilliant. Me. Don't have point blank shot. Do have open vein. The wield is good. Ah, it was it was good. Are we going to the cove? We are going to the cove. Let's take. Like, that's the only reward I want, really, except for maybe another one of those. Berserk charm. Three speed, 15% damage. So you get more stressy and less accurate. But you hit a lot harder. It's a veteran. 
Let's not make that mistake again. All right, we'll do a medium 90% thingy. It could go a bit more badly wrong than I was than I'd like it. To. Oh no, healer. Shit. <laughs> no healer. We'll bring Snowden later. We have to bring a healer. Uh, no. I don't think how massive can work at all in the second. Well, it can work slightly. So only the stress heal you can't do. Yeah, let's bring Snowden. Well. There we go. So the three new people and a healer should do quite well on this. Now it is going to be a medium mission, which means we might not have enough money, but we might just have to go in the dark for a while. We're going to have to take a lot of food, you see. Stack and a half? Sound good? Maybe? I guess we take another one. We've got one, so we could... We could stock up on food whilst we're there, and I think this is only really useful to take one off. Uh, we've got one shovel, but we should probably take more because it's a, a long mission, and we don't tend to find them. You can find them, but you don't tend to. We're going to the cove. I'm not sure what you find in the cove, whether it's going to be bandagey stuff or blighty stuff. I guess we just go like this, take a key. I mean, it's a long mission, which well, it's a medium mission, which means our inventory is going to fill up quite quickly because we've had to take two stacks of most things that we would normally take only one stack of. Um, but the smell we of will use up. This will go away. We'll probably use this at some point. Uh, you know, we'll probably use each of these over time, so we will gain inventory space, but probably not quite as quickly as we'd like to be using it. Since we're going to have to backtrack at some point, because there's a dead end here and a dead end here and they're the same length, we should go here first, because early on we have way less stress than we did. Uh, we're in the right order, because we started in the right order, because I put us in the right order. See, stashed heirlooms are ready, that's going to take up another inventory slot. Uh, expecting a trap. Barnacle crusted chest. Could be sharp, but we'll open it. Empty. I believe those can cut you. Not like if you go to Manchester at the wrong time of night and they'll fucking cut you. More in the sense that it's sharp. So I'm not going to run the risk of opening another one, I think. There's too great a chance, I suppose, that, um... Shut up. There's too great a chance that it contains nothing along with the chance that it'll hurt. Ah, it's probably not worth it. I mean, we could use the key on it. Hunger already, Jesus Christ. What's the matter with you? It's a good thing I brought a lot. Uh, there's a chance that later we'll find a locked box that we want to use a key on to get way more loot than we would have got from that one. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that we'll get some combat so I have something else to talk about. I nearly walked full tilt into that. Just now. How is there a trap in this direction when there was not a trap in that direction? Sorted it out though. Bring it on. That's probably how uh, Miri lost all their stress in the, the other episode. Trap disarming is a great way of reducing stress. So if you can put a trap disarm trinket here's some food here um, on somebody no food but we did get, oh I didn't bring any trinkets normally it tells you that you haven't brought any trinkets why didn't it tell me? huh? should have told me well, we have one now. It is good enough. <laughs> we might want to get rid of this. It's only 250 gold. Another or we're going to run out of shovels and we'll have Another more space. Fortune. It's fine. We'll use that. Then we've got a stack of torches. Maybe I didn't bring enough torches. Maybe. I don't care. Ah, scouting. Of course, we have to explore end rooms, not... There's no combat in this entire fucking place. Rather than do end combats, so there is that. Again, I'm going to ignore that chest. They don't tend to contain enough stuff. Hunger again. Jeez Louise. And we didn't get any food from the thing I was expecting to get food from. So... I guess we explore that one because it's less backtracking. Jeez. This mission could be entirely stressful because nothing happens. It's stressing me out. Oh, and don't forget, uh, we need some food to camp. 
any combat. No. Okay, let's go to this room. Hoping not to strike another hunger tick, because if we do, we're fucked. Oh, shit. <laughs> we can get away with eating four food when we camp. But it won't heal stress. Shit, the bed. There is no combat in this entire dungeon. That is odd. I'll be honest. We should start camping just to make sure that we've used the food, but... I'm wondering whether we should not camp at all. Because then we have the food to eat if we're going to wander around getting... Oh, fucking hell. Scared the shit out of me. Right, Penelope Puddles. You are going to do bleed damage against... Like, what's the actual damage we're going to do? Negative one. Oh, just one. Two to four on that, and nothing to one on that. But we get bleed. 40% bleed, 50%... Ugh. Oh, these have all got bleed resist. That's an accuracy loss. Does this do everybody? Yes. So that is a... Yeah, we'll start off with that. That seems cool. Now we're all buffed. Now you get a go. I don't want you to do that. Shocker does not sound pleasant. Okay. Hmm. Prop. Have you got prop? You've got a lot of prop. Right, let's deprop you. Mark you for the next turn. Vestal, probably you want to try stunning at this stage because... I think judgment, I think prop works against judgment as well. Even though you think it was a magical attack and wouldn't, you know, have any effects against. Let's try and stun one that hasn't been yet. This has got 50%. It's, got, it's only 50%. Uh, yeah. Still, 50% isn't great. Shocker again. Maybe I should have stunned that one. Yeah, now we're both stunned. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> We've got Stress Heal and Torch, we've got Prot on ourselves, which will mark us though. I'm starting to understand this now. You protect yourself and mark yourself so that you take the... You absorb the damage, that's how it works. As a, um... Oh sweet. That was good. That was very good. That's how you work as a tank, is to try and force them to attack you. So you need a uh, self-mark. Because normally you'd be wondering, you know, how? These things seem to attack any old thing, but you mark yourself. That's basically the only thing I can see at this stage that will even do that. Right. You've got a stun buff. You've got another go. You dodged it. That wasn't expected whatsoever. We've got a stun buff. So we resisted that. You got the stun, so... But the mark's gone, so that's okay. Let's try and smite this. Three. Oh, we had a deep... Uh, a deprotting debuff on the other one, so that's okay. Right, you have no prop, but you've got a lot of dodge, which is a shame because I don't have a dodge reduction attack. So I guess we just. Like, this thing's gonna die. We don't have a zealous accusation, but that thing's gonna die if we hit it with anything vaguely competent, right? And we could, if we wanted to, finale something uh, to send us to the back. And then move forward again. Eh, we could hit both of these. Let's try that. <gasps> Look. <clears throat> you might need an accuracy buff. It has a base accuracy of 90, which is not the highest in the world. Uh, yeah. Good. It's done? Yes. It does do a plus 6 uh, torch as well, which helps keep us in range. It's not too much of a big issue against these things, but... Yep, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, it, it can be an issue against some of the darker acolytes and the things that do stress damage. Not likely to meet them here, but those things can reduce the torch and we can unreduce it, which is great. Oh, you got a bleed, have you? Well, for two. This is turning out harder than expected. Could use this, or could just heal you. It's probably better. We'll probably keep hold of this until we've got some more damage done to us. I think we just kill that. Um, we can use this twice, so whenever we're in a little bit of dire straits, trying to make it through. Like, is it worth doing this? We'll see what it does, I guess. Uh, apparently everything resists everything, that's fine. Uh, we will Divine Grace on Snowland, because Snowland took some damage for some stupid reason. 
Uh, smite. Oh my god! 12 damage! I didn't even get to do my finale. Well, I feel bad about that. Let's go into position. That was a good fight. Fight the good fight. You're still bleeding. I'm just going to ignore you in the back there. Oh, a second key. That might make it worth using one of them on a barnacle type. Have you stopped bleeding? Thank you. A barnacle type. Yeah, we'll use this. Box. That's what I'm thinking of. No combat in this room. There's combat in this room in this room. So we should probably check out the Curio. Well, there is combat on the way. There's a trap on the way here. Maybe we just go up here and hope that that's 90%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think we have to do all but one. Maybe we should camp here. Maybe we should camp after this one because there's going to be two battles. So hopefully we get an opportunity to heal Snowland again. Oh my god, what is this shit? You again! Oh, well that's you. Crit for two and stunned. Yes, right. That's the problem. It'd be nice if there was a stun removal uh, skill. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we will mark you to get rid of your prop. Which means you might be able to one hit it. Spearfishing, what does this do? It misses. Okay, cool. Right, you've got Stress Wave, Call of the Deep. I want to see what they do. That buffs something. I don't, I don't know what this plus means next to Sea Breeze. That might be a guard or a heal. It's probably a heal now I think about it. So I want to... I want to stop you from acting, but I can't. We'll do this. It gives us a good critter chance. Critter chance. A good uh, speed boost, which is very valuable. And the accuracy is also quite valuable because I don't like missing. Oh my god. What was that? Alright. That, that is Steve the Optimist. Don't forget. Optimistic. So we will be optimistic about it and don't let D take too much stress damage or she will completely flip out and stop healing people. It's the only reason she's here. No, 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 no. What is salty gouge? Well, I'm not too salty about it, but the debuff is a bleed resist debuff. So, okay. Can I bleed these two? No, apparently not. 50% each and we missed them both. Okay. See, I kind of want to rush this, but it's only got one HP. Have you got any prop? No. You're the only one left to go. So I don't want you to do any more damage than you already have done. And you do get to go, which is nice. Uh, Divine Grace on Snowlin. Only does four, but it's better than zero. Uh, a Smite will do six to twelve. That's dead. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Straight up, no worries. There's a torch here, which is nice. Stress wave is stressy. It hits two. Okay. Now's the time to start doing that. Because when we next come around, these things will be extremely likely to die. What's your stun resist? 10%. And you have a go. So I will make sure you don't... Well, try to make sure you don't get your go. This is going to be the case. You're stun buffed, but that's also fine. We will smite you for certain death. And then if you get your go now that you have high speed, which you may do, you do. So we finale this for 8 damage, which is a significant proportion of it, but unfortunately it does get a go. So that's us even more stress, but not to the point of horror. You've had a go, so I will definitely use Divine Comfort again. Just keep the HP up, because we're going to have another fight in a minute, don't forget. Don't miss this time. Sorted. What's the loot? Fat loot is gold, which is probably the simplest way of improving yourself. Gold's gold, right? You don't have to worry about what type it is. It's just gold pieces. Right, there's going to be a battle in here, so... Double plus monster surprise plus scouting. Battle with Curio, maybe we can use a key. Get some more loot. Ah, it's an oyster. They're surprised! Okay! Right. Stun the shit out of these things. Oh fuck, I didn't move back. 
<laughs> God. Uh, I think we'll just deal with it. We can't use this. That's the only thing. Any protection? No. Reasonable amount of dodge, though, and high speed, so they're probably going to go first on the next round as well. So we should think about that. We should definitely take blight things here in future, by the way. Note that down in your copybooks now. <sighs> I guess we just start rushing these things down. And <clears throat> hope to completely debuff them by the end of the go. You're bleeding. You're going to die later than you. You can't hit anything at the back. It's a problem. But we can mark ourselves. This could be worthwhile. Yes. It could cause these ones to attack uh, Mr. Steve. It didn't. <laughs> That's a lot. Ooh, you dodged it. Fucking yes. That's exactly what we need to see at this point of the t uh, of the uh, of the mission is people dodging high stress attacks just before we try to de-stress ourselves with the camp. Right, this is okay. Um, I will I will literally just move here. It's not a hugely great use of our time, but yes, more dodging, perfect. Uh, that was my mistake, not putting Penelope puddles in the right position to start with. We will try to avoid it in future. You two have been, but I still want to kill you. You've got one damage left. Like the, the mark will allow us to do a lot of damage on the next round, but they've got 14. And it does 4 to 7, so it's not going to be enough to kill one. It's definitely enough to kill that, so we will. I think it's absolutely worth killing something if you can. Even if, uh, maybe not in all situations. But often I think the the ability to take a unit out completely, not have to worry about whether it's going to die, not have to worry about whether it's going to have another go on the next turn, you know, whether the timing of your stun is going to pay off, you just kill it, it's not doing any more damage to anybody. Right, you, you've taken a lot of damage, which is kind of the point. I would have liked you to crit, but you didn't. But that's okay. See, now if that one had gone first, don't matter, still doesn't get a go. Now you die. Close, but no cigar. The bleed helps though, so it's definitely gonna die. They can't avoid it. Maybe now's the time we start soloing. Debuffs, excellent. That minus 10 accuracy may have just saved us. Plus, do you, do you have a good dodge chance? I think you might do. Stress wave isn't great. Uh oh. No! Ah, courageous! Yes! <laughs> That's what we want to see. Did we give you the... We didn't give anyone any trinkets. That is the virtue that the trinket that gives you a plus virtue chance. Uh, that's what that does. That's, that's the virtue it improves the chances of. But we're in a very good position right now. The one that will definitely die with overkill, or the one that will definitely not die... We've only got... This is the last turn. Last go of the turn, so we'll just hit it. Again, I'd rather overkill something and have it out of the picture than... 6 to 11 is still not going to kill this thing, but it will get it into death range. It is still likely to get into death range. Well, you don't get another go. Just a buff. Damage and accuracy. Ah, that's okay. As the black deepens, my power grows. Get on with it. Ooh, that's nice. So she's encouraging people because she's virtuous, having, you know, had the opportunity to flip out and, in fact, have done quite the opposite. Really? <laughs> Seriously? One damage per round, three Look, you die anyway on the next round. If you don't have a go, please, and we have a chance to heal again. So I'm trying to... Uh, I was trying to spend turns until Decline got a go, but... It was not to be. Shall we open this? Yes. Someone has already cleaned house. Who's been here? 
Goodness me. There's only me adventuring anywhere. We will now camp. This will reduce in the dark. Uh, meal phase and skill phase. Right. So we eat a meal. We could have tried to keep eight food. I was hoping that the medicinal herbs would have produced more food, but they didn't, which is a shame. But now we get the opportunity to maybe try and heal people up or reduce stress. What can you do? Wound care, accuracy and dodge for four combats, which is more than enough. If religious prevents nighttime ambush, well, pretty sure that Vestals are religious. All companions, if has mortality debuffs, heal 50% and reduce stress by 25, but otherwise it doesn't. So we could reduce, we could guarantee no nighttime ambush, which can be pretty devastating. But we might not want to, depending on what else we can do. All companions reduce stress. I think we're more concerned about healing at this stage, so this costs two time, we can heal you. 15% is only five damage. What else can you do? This also prevents nighttime ambush. I will absolutely do that because it guarantees a good benefit for everybody. Like, we've got less chance of the party being surprised and more chances chance of us surprising the monsters, plus the prevention of nighttime ambush, whereas this one uh, doesn't really provide any benefit to everybody else. So that's pretty sweet. What have we got here? Mockery. Increase stress on one person to reduce stress on everybody else. Probably this. Reduce stress and stress damage. Or just reduce stress straight up. Let's do this. Doesn't reduce... Every time it says all companions, it doesn't apply to you. But now all our stress is basically below 30. Yeah. So we can do one more thing. Which costs three time. Not that. Don't care about that. I think we just uh, heal up Mr. Steve a little bit more and then rest. We're guaranteed no nighttime combat. Ambush combat. Ambush. Oh, we could do this room or we could do those three rooms. I'm just going to go back to those three rooms. We know there's treasure here. Uh, so that's probably the most valuable option at this stage. There's a curio and a trap. We do have someone who can. Reasonably well disarmed traps, one in five chance of fucking up. But disarming the trap will also reduce their stress, which is very nice indeed. The pack has a map inside. So it's probably not going to tell us about this. Oh, it did. Yeah, there was nothing there. There's a curio and a trap. So we made the right decision, but it wasn't really based on any um, intel, shall we say. We just guessed and got it right. Well, it was based on an educated guess that we're going to have to go up here anyway. We need to do that one. Ah, here's a reason to use a key. Spearfishing, that's a bad damage attack. Uh, uh, stress attack? No, not stress. So you buff you, that's bad. So I'm guessing you now have prop, damage, accuracy, and crit. Right, no eldritch. And unholy. So you've got eldritch. You can do extra damage against unholy, which is great. You've got prop. Right, so we'll deprop. Snowman will attack this because of the prop and the mark ability. You probably should have been healed by now, but never mind. Can just put some uh, some dots on. Oh, that was really good. Get some bleed on those two. Means that there's a chance that if we accidentally do not quite enough damage, they'll die anyway. And it is a two damage bleed, which is that's ten damage right there. We just have to make sure they don't attack. But I think bleed is usually good for just finishing off whenever. Um, whenever we don't quite make the damage that we needed. So you are going to do 90% chance of doing 7 to... F you could one hit this. It's a low chance. <gasps> Fucking 21 damage. Outrageous. That was amazing. Well done. I'm a bit upset that we didn't get the surprise on that. but <laughs> Okay, now you're guarding you. That's a problem. We might have to stun this. Stress wave. Eh, whatever. Did that even do any stress? I think it did, but it didn't tell me. Whatever. Uh, we could stack up the bleed on that and then do that. Let's ballot. I like this um, <clears throat> This buff basically passes a jester turn without passing the turn, but also by giving everybody some, some decent buffs, although... 
kind of hoping that you would dodge that. So now you can Hounds Rush this, which is probably going to attack that, which has got 12 damage. That's okay. No? What does Guard do then? Oh, Guarded by! You guarded you. My mistake, my mistake, don't worry. We're not quite keeping up on the heels here, because that did 6 damage uh, before, but uh, that's fine. <clears throat> This is Eldritch, 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 this does Unholy, we could stun this. It's got a 25% resist, and we have a 10% chance of missing, but I still like those odds. Oh, you resisted it, well fuck you then, <laughs> basically. Octocess, does it? No. Ah, it's a bleed attack. I was wondering why it did so little damage. Now we start soloing, I think. We definitely want to get the debuffs on the enemies. Moving these people around doesn't matter a huge amount. That's okay. We could do a hands rush again because you're still marked. Ah, one more round. Okay, so... I think the mark lasts two rounds, basically, is what we're saying. And we resisted a bleed, but that's okay. You've got three damage and f five HP. Honestly, I think we might want to try... I want to stun this, but I also want that to die. I think we just keep D in healer mode for now. Just keep everyone topped up on HP so that if something does hit us hard... Shut up. Uh, we'll be okay. So we smite this for almost certain kill. The pesky corpse will stay in the way, but that's okay. That's going to be a bleed. No, it wasn't. Okay. And then you will finale against this. Eight. Pretty good. Didn't kill it though, which is a shame. Could have killed that, stopped having a go, but I think we're going to do that anyway. We didn't. Oh. We did, because it's now dead. Right, so we will heal you. This will die when it takes a turn. Plus. <laughs> heal one. Just heal myself, I guess. Try and keep ourselves as top to upon HP as is possible. That's doing two damage per round. Are you going to get a go? Don't really think this through. No, you're not. Okay, good. Right, I'll move you forward again. I think we were at one. Oh, that's a shame. One um, turn too early for the finale combo there, but that's fine. Yeah, just rush you down. Should kill it? Did kill it. Ah, oh, that's some nice stuff. A portrait. Did you leave that lying around? I didn't leave that lying around. That's what we like to see. Some more of those. Another portrait. Yeah, perfect. It fits in our inventory and everything. You're still bleeding. For one. You're taking two more damage. I don't care. Sorry to be blunt and rude about it, but I couldn't give a toss about your two damage. Stop whinging. Heirlooms. Yay. Got room? Yes, exactly enough room. Sweet. And. Ah! Oh, damage and stress. That is a big problem. So we maybe should have taken a little bit more food. It's a shame we couldn't have had half rations at that point, but never mind. I'm just going to eat this to keep you topped up, basically. Uh, apparently we already knew about that, so we didn't. Please, no more hunger. <laughs> We've just had some... We've just had hunger. We don't want any more. Uh, sure. Get another key. I don't really want to backtrack to all those other ones, but how was I to know, right? Here's one now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, please let me heal for- no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We might be very stressed out by this, but we should get a decent amount of XP because it was a long mission. Jester. Do some damage. And we can upgrade that attack, especially because it's a melee attack. Uh oh. We're okay, we're not dead yet. Uh, protection. We've got two of these fuckers. That's gonna be a problem. Well, we'll, we'll uh, wait away on this one first. Do as much damage as we can. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, you're guarding you. Fucking brilliant. So now I can't attack you without killing that. If I attack that, which is marked, do you think I get extra damage on that, which is... Oh, thank you. No, it's not brilliant, but it did some damage. We could try and stun it. It has a 25% stun resist, so we could do damage. I think that one will stun, though, if we hit it, so... 
I guess I'm okay with that. Resisted. That's no good. You dodge though. That's very helpful. Alright, let's try and um, rush this one down. Three. Yeah, I think we need to mark that one. That's a problem. We're learning, but we may die from <laughs> having not learned fast enough. I'm going to keep harvesting these. The bleed will get around the protection, if nothing else. Oh, thank you. Thank you for dodging that. So I guess... I mean, we can keep hitting it. I will, uh... Hmm. I don't really need to stress heal myself. I need to heal heal myself. And 1 HP is not good enough. I could prop myself. And mark myself. Which means I may be able to tank one more shot. Especially given that these should now have a go. Uh, nope. I'm back. You're going to go. Three damage is not the end of the world. You can heal. A crit would have been nice, but we've only got... Well, we got a crit already is what I'm saying. You are taking five damage per round for the next two rounds, which is really good. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. These things getting to go for at all is just outrageous. Okay. So, you've got... You're already dead. You're definitely dead. There's no... Oh. Not true. You're only taking four damage and you're taking five damage. How does that work? I think I can afford to do this again. It will definitely kill you, so that's worthwhile. Now, you've got enough HP. Uh... If I attack you, how many is this left? One. You'll die. Right? Six. No! <laughs> you need to take more damage than that. This is how a life is taken. We smite this. Can I stun the one at the back? No. Basically, we have to do damage to that. Can I do this again? Will it stack? I don't know. In that case, I'll just... Just end that one. Get it over and done with. Right, good. I would like to stun something, in fact. I would prefer to heal. Oh, that's not enough. I should have used a bandage. Shit. Now you're guarding you. I am okay with that. We can tank this stress. I think we're going to have to send everybody to the um, to the facilities <clears throat> before we do anything else. You're all still buffed. Three combats. Okay. You resisted the debuff. I think that's because of the protection here. I'm going to try and stun this against my better judgment. It did work. I'm very much a fan of that. We'll heal you again. Four is fine. We are about to lose the bleed, so that's okay. Now we'll mark you once more. Because it's going to take definitely one more round to kill that thing, uh, it's definitely worth marking it. Uh, the the guard is off, so what, we've got six to eleven. We could crit, or we could miss. <laughs> Not what I anticipated at all. Like, de-stress went right back down to zero when she became virtuous. Ah, that's good. I'm just going to keep healing Mr. Steve at the front because Mr. Steve is intentionally tanking all the damage. Right. Six is a good amount of damage. It reduced the protection on that thing quite a lot. Ow. We resisted the bleed, that's fine. And that's the end of that bleed, I think. Yep. So I think now we just beat the shit out of one of these. Maybe this one? Seven. That's causing a lot of stress and I'm not down with that at all. So, is that a heal? It's a buff. Okay. Sea Breeze is the heal, I think. So, speed, accuracy, and crit. We'll do that again. I think that's worthwhile. Yeah. The stress damage came from the rest... Uh, not from the buff that the Jester gave us. So we'll do this again. We could probably get rid of that. Let's do that. Again, preferring to kill something rather than damage something that's not yet dead. Uh, you have actually got less proportional HP than you, and that was a, a decent heal. Have you got a stress buff? No. Not stress. Stun. Excellent, excellent. You don't get another go, which is quite within my... Uh, evil master plan for sending you to the other side of the 
The Veil. Let's move you forwards. We may need you for the next round, but I'm definitely anticipating winning this time. Three damage is okay. You heal you. I'm actually not as likely to win as I thought it was. My mistake there was to not mark it with the debuff that reduces its uh, protection, because that would have done had a chance to do more damage. Just keep doing that. <laughs> the Jester's got one of those things where it immediately becomes quite useless. Fuck me. Seriously? And you're resistant to bleed. Cool. A bit more stress heal is not without merit. We've gained HP on this unit, I believe, during this fight. And this is one damage away from death, so I think we've basically got that one in the bag. What do we win? Stuff. What is this? These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Probably should have been using this before, by now. Uh, we might as well just use the torch, I guess. As we'll take this and then we'll equip it. Are oh, perfect. In that case, we don't need the torch, we'll clear. use this. No? Yeah. And then we can do this. Oh, it had no effect. <laughs> okay, perfect. And two more of those is a nice way to finish it off. There's a trap in a curio. We might as well go and see what they are, right? Well, I know what a trap is. It's a trap. Oh, well done. Snowling, you Watch your step. fucking Irish perk. You made it worse for everybody, and you debuffed yourself. There's loot in here, though. It was all worthwhile. We don't need the food. Right, let's go. This, aspect. this is a very valuable... Seems almost traversable. Uh, uh, very valuable start. Uh, uh, just watch it. That is a lot of crests. Holy crap. We can almost do one thing. We haven't got anything else apart from crests. This is all the portraits we won. And there's six more here. Okay, cool. I thought you could double click these to make them all go, but okay. Calm. Okay. Well, you don't tend to take uh, do damage on the first round, so that's I'm fine with that. And you've all gained a little bit of... Oh, you've got a lot of XP for that. Like, a lot, a lot. That's cool. But a lot of stress as well. So, uh, Mr. Steve, the optimist, came through uh, his very first adventure, which is a long one, or a medium one, with basically less than... 20 stress. So he's living up to his name. I'm a fan of that. But we're going to have to. De We've got 14 grand now, so we're actually making making money in that sense. Uh, Ed, you have successfully lost your thingy. Kleptomaniac debuff. We wanted somebody else to go in there. Oh no, we didn't. We wanted to. Uh, may not meditate. That's fine. Stress damage in cover. That was probably a bad thing to have taken. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can remove. No cheat. Don't care. Obsessed with self-worship, off guard. Maybe bad, but I don't think it's worth spending money on. That could be bad, especially since you're like an unholy, an anti-unholy unit. Mary is flagellant, that's fine. That's probably a bad thing. That's kind of okay, that's definitely okay. Those three are okay. That's probably a bad thing. But that's not. <laughs> Calm is kind of not a problem. Oh, you became calm. When did you become calm? That's probably a bad thing. That's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. Right, you've got a lot of bad things, so I'm going to try and get at least one of them out. How much is it going to cost? Probably you want to get rid of calm. 1,200. Reduces positive quirk treat. You can remove a positive? Oh, you can lock it in. Wow, that's expensive. Haha. <laughs> I mean, you can force them not to lose it, which is really good, but crikey. Not for that amount of money. 
I don't necessarily think that's worth it, to be honest. Weak grip on life has not been a problem yet. Sainthood. Okay. Paranormania and calm. So that can cause you to use things I don't want you to use. Calm is fine for you because you don't go on the first round. Let's put people in um, the stress relief first. And then think about... Like if I send you to the tavern, I think there's a chance that any of them will cause them to do something next week that means they're out of action. Wow. <laughs> okay. Drinking everything, apparently. Yeah, drink them dry, I don't care. Well, that's it for this episode, I think. In the next episode, we may take some of the least stressy people out. See if we can stress them out a little bit. And maybe we'll think about doing this uh, medium boss mission. Which is going to be doubly painful because... Ooh, that's good, though. That's changed. So it looks like we're going to get a very rare trinket, but not the one I wanted. Um, that's going to be doubly difficult because it's a long way. There will be camp... Uh, actually, maybe we won't camp before we do the hag. It depends on where the hag is. But we could suffer a lot of stress and HP damage before we've even reached it, simply because it's so long. But I think we'll do that in the next episode. And uh, I look forward to seeing you there.